in this video, you're just going to see me vacuum bagging balsa core back down using epoxy and some triax and biax cloth. Um, I ended up building a glass top table, which got a ton of use throughout this process um, for all kinds of things. I built a mold on it. Um, highly recommend it to anybody else that wants to do this. Okay, so the AE21s made it into the garage. We're going to start laying up some fiberglass here soon. Um, it's been a while since I've done any vacuum bagging or anything, so we're going to start in the back. We're just going to put a little pad or a little bit of balsa on the tops of these uh, sponsons just to try to remember how to do this. I am not done grinding. Like, I'll go in and clean up the corners and stuff with the die grinder and anywhere that I couldn't reach with the angle grinder. Um, so we come over here with the fiberglass table. Um, got my balls to cut. Ran through the band soft with 45s on it already. Vacuum bag, breather, bleeder. Um, got a bunch of epoxy from Raka in Florida. Um, so I'm going to be using primarily 19 ounce Triax and a bunch of 12 ounce Biax. Uh, I'm trying to avoid using any chop strand mat <clears throat> because it's just a heavy resin sponge. I understand its purpose, especially in polyester, um, but we're using epoxy, so it's <clears throat> much less important. Um, transom is going to be Kusa. Um, one of my buddies. Give me a scrap piece of one and a half inch piece of board left over from his Scorpion build, which if you ever find it on the internet, you'll know it's pretty fast. Okay, so I did a bag last night and a bag this morning. Neither of them went very well. Uh, not happy about it, but it's okay. So I prepped the balsa, or cut the balsa from the next bag. We're running up to meet the old balsa under the bow. I changed my taping technique with a lot more emphasis in the cleaning. Um, I started mixing some epoxy. And actually, correction, I gotta finish cutting some bagging material and stuff first. Then I'll mix some epoxy. Then we'll see if we can screw this up again. We're just cutting out bagging film, bleeder cloth, and some release film. Um, do I think vacuum bagging this thing is necessary? No. But I have the equipment and it's practice. So, so that's what we're doing. Uh, if you look around, you'll notice some other stuff in the garage. Um, on top of that blue locker is a six inch chopped midsection for an HPDI for the motor that's going on this thing. See a spare power head on the ground. You'll see some V4 stuff for another project and a handful of gear cases that I'm working on for some other guys. Okay, so now we've got our bag, breather, and release cloth, or release film. The distributor said it's perforated after using it a couple times, I think they lied to me, so I perforated it myself. Um, we're using epoxy from Raka ink and a flora, like I said. It's a two to one system with the resin and the hardeners. I can mix the hardeners to get it to kind of customize my uh, pot life and my working time. So for this one, I'm going to go three parts slow to one part fast. See how that goes. Uh, I've got a bucket here that I've mixed up of uh, cabasil, milled fibers, and a bit of chopped strand. In there, um, because you'll see, I'll mix some epoxy, we'll brush them out on the back of the epoxy, we'll brush them out on the floor. Then I'm going to jump back out of the boat. The remainder of the epoxy will have the fillers added. I'm going to jump back in with a little V trowel, spread it out, slap the epoxy down, or the balsa, sorry, and then. Um, Get the bag closed up and hope for the best. So here we are mixing up some epoxy. Um, mix it up, spread it around on the back of the balsa, just using a bondo squeegee. Seems to be the easiest way to push it around. Then we jump in the boat here, and I'm doing the same thing on the top of that sponson. Getting back out of the boat, 
adding some cabosil mix to the epoxy to make an adhesive. Back in the boat, spreading it around. I've just got a cheap V-notch trowel to do this. So I'll spread that around, get back out of the boat, throw the balsa in, and then we've got some release cloth, some breather, um, little aluminum fitting, and then we're closing the bag up and throw some vacuum to it. Um, this bag went very well, so that kind of got me re-motivated. I was starting to get pretty frustrated after those first two bags didn't go uh, the way that I'd intended. Okay, the first two, we'll call them practice bags. Not great successes. The core's down, it's not going anywhere, but wasn't super happy with it. The third bag, this big section, very happy with so far. Um, bag sealed up very well. Core's on its way down. And we buried the gauge, so that's a good bag. Perfect. Like I was saying before, um, this bag I did last night, I was able to pull, you know, like 20 inches of mercury. That's about all I could get. But of course, down it's not going to go anywhere. I did this bag this morning. I got like seven or eight inches of mercury. Kind of sucked. Um, I've thrown some weight on in the back here. Um, we'll let it harden up. And then we'll do the quarter test, make sure it's all sealed down. And if it's not, we'll come up with a game plan from there. Uh, I'm going to start working on this side now. Um, I have two lines because I have a perfect bag here. I don't mind pulling another bag down on the pump at the same time. <clears throat> okay, so after having a couple issues with the first bag, I changed the way I'm doing my pleats and my corners. Quite often you see guys, they'll overlap their corners and then they'll build their pleats into their straight runs as they go. I remember last time I did this, I had issues getting them to seal up at the corners and at the pleats. And I watched another gentleman on YouTube, I don't remember his name, it was years ago now, where he ran straight flat lines and then came back and added his pleats after, as well as doing um, butt joints instead of overlapping joints at the corners. So that's what I've been doing now. Um, so I'm just gonna set this bag, put the tape down, set this bag up of acetone, the guts out of um, here and here where the bag and the core is gonna go. To get the bag set up. Um, core is cut already. Um, mix up some epoxy and try to get this second piece of uh, core down. So anyway, here we are, just a sped up time lapse, throwing some gum tape down. Um, not a lot to see, really. Um, for anybody that's thinking about recoring a hydro stream or something, don't feel like you need to uh, vacuum bag. If you want to, I recommend it. It's fun in a stressful kind of way. Um, if you don't bag it, just build a good bracing system to hold the hull straight and throw weight on the core like most guys do. I think like Ramen Boats on YouTube, he used shingles on one of his boats to hold the core down because it kind of conforms to the shape of the hull. And just be creative. It's not, it's not rocket science by any stretch of the imagination. So then here we are just actually putting the bag down. Don't be cheap. I tried to be cheap a couple times and save bagging material. It's not worth it. Um, just cut the bag big, buy lots, and uh, cry about the costs later. So putting that piece of core down was just a repeat of the first side, so I didn't bother recording it. Um, here I am in the center sponson. <clears throat> I, uh, put a bit of 19 ounce triax down earlier so that it, I had a little bit more um, thickness in that area. It was super thin, had some spider cracks in it. So we're just cleaning up the spots where I didn't get a good um, adhesion with the peel ply. And then uh, here we are cleaning up some of those corners like I said I was going to do, going to do with the die grinder. Okay, not sure how well you can see this, but uh... Got my bag set up on the left under the bow. Um, did a bit of grinding in here on the epoxy I put down the other day. Cleaned it all up. So the bag's in. I pre-cut all my material, release film, and breather. Got my balsa here. So I'll pre-wet this. 
and I'll dump all the epoxy into a cup, mix it up with my cabasole and stuff to make my adhesive. And then I'm gonna crawl in there, lay it all out, get it bagged, and uh, hope it works. Yes, I'm bagging over core mat, or sorry, um, adding core over top of core mat. Probably not the way to do it, and I'm sure I'll catch a bunch of grief for it, but I don't care. So this clip is a little bit choppy. I cut a bunch of sections out of it so you didn't have to stare at my fat ass the whole time. Um, you'll notice I kick a bunch of stuff over, so just be tidier than I was if you're going to do it. So here we are, um, same thing, just in the front of the boat in a less comfortable position. Build a bag, put some glue down, put the core down, seal the bag up, pull vacuum, find the leaks, you fix the leaks, wait for it to dry. Okay, so I've got the bag down in the bow. Actually, very well, very happy with it. Um, it's not my favorite place to work, obviously, but it's in. And we pulled, got, we got good vacuum on it pretty easily. And uh, get ready to move on to what I think is the last vacuum bag in terms of corn. Um, so we're gonna put some balls in that gap. I'm gonna bag that down and then uh, once that's done and it's hardened up and stuff we'll pull all the bags off or probably just do one at a time but pull the bags off chamfer the edges of the balsa and uh, start laying the 19 ounce triax on top. When I do that I'll fill in the gaps between the bags right so we're gonna have this gap of uh, no balsa here. So I'm gonna start my, extra, my next bag right against this one. So when I do the, when I lay glass in on top, I'm just gonna stick down the uh, balsa with some thickened resin. I won't bag it. Um, it'll just get pushed down and then uh, glassed over top. Right, so I have that everywhere that a bag meets a bag. So I'll do that in a couple spots. I'm also going to core um, this little lip here. Right, so that's the pad and a ledge. So I'm gonna core this, but I'm just gonna stick that down and then bag right over top of it right away. Or correction, not bag, um, glass over top of it right away. I had intended on pulling bags, like wet bagging all of the glass on pretty much everything. Um, I'm not gonna do that. Not in this boat. This just the shape of it and the way I'm doing it is a giant pain in my butt. I don't care that much. Maybe when I get to the Viper and I'm really trying to cut weight, maybe I'll, I'll wet bag the whole thing. Uh, we will see. Okay, so more of the same here. Just me building a bag. Um, you're going to hear me go on a rant eventually about the degradation of quality and some of the stuff. I had some problems with some of this bagging tape. Made me pretty mad. You also heard me mention a Viper build in the previous clip. <clears throat> so that's the next boat that I'll be building. I'm going to do a video series on that, probably more in-depth than this one. But that'll be a single-seat center steer, pretty lightweight build, all epoxy as well. The motor for that is going to be a pretty short uh, Yamaha V4, the 6-inch uh, chop in the midsection. Then um, <clears throat> uh, we've, we're cutting AUX 66 front half up to run uh, EFI throttle body. Uh, it'll get a standalone ECU. And we've got some 61Y law, factory long rods from Yamaha. Um, did a bunch of digging to find those. Some custom pistons. I'm hoping to do 90 miles an hour in a V4. Um, might be a little bit optimistic, but we'll see what happens. Should be fun when we get that far. I don't know what's going on here either. Like I've got this new shipment of sealant tape um, and this is way less gummy and way less tacky than the sealant tape that I have that's been sitting in my basement for like three years now. Um, same manufacturer, General Sealants Inc. Uh, out of California. I don't know if this is some COVID type 
shit that we've got to deal with or we just stop caring about the customers or something. I don't know. But anyway, this sealant tape sucks compared to the stuff that's even been sitting in my basement for three years, which should have gone bad, I suspect. Here we are. I ain't gonna throw it out because it's like a buck a foot by the time you pay taxes in Canada on it. Instead, we'll just fight and bitch. This has been pretty handy. This is just a crap little roller I got off Amazon. I'm doing sound deadening in my crappy old truck. Um, it's been quite handy to run around over the bag once it's set up, trying to stop any leaking. I think I would love to try infusion at some point in the future because you can set up a big bag and pull it down and make sure it doesn't leak. You got all the time in the world. And then uh, turn the tops on and let it rip. But anyway, so anyway, I'll blow my, the dirt out that I somehow tracked in here because I'm an idiot. And um, we'll finish prepping the balsa and we'll be back. Anyway, I forgot. Uh, in the last video to put the bag on. So anyway, here we go. I'm gonna start on the factory edge the corner. Put one side stuck down. And then it's one thing I don't have to do. Okay, hey, so mixed up our Capacil milled fibers and chop strand and now we're just using a cheap travel it up. so like i said it's just a super cheap it's like a 3 16 inch notched v trowel um, just spreading some of this epoxy around that have turned into a adhesive nothing special put it down kind of thick stick the uh, balsa down in it you're gonna do something like this just make this uh, adhesive a little bit thicker than you think you should i kept making it a little bit thinner than i than i wished like once i started spreading it out i always thought oh it should be a little bit thicker um in the end not a big deal but just a heads up for the next guy that's gonna do this or play this game So here we are, just putting the balsa down like I have a couple times already. Um, make sure that you spread some resin around on the bottom or the back side of the balsa <clears throat> so you get good adhesion. Otherwise, there's a chance that the balsa will soak up the resin out of your adhesive and kind of have a dry um, glue. Basically, it doesn't stick down all that well. Um, yeah, bleeder, breather, bag vacuum find the leak fix the leak same same so here's a picture of that last bag and that's pretty much it for this video in the next one we'll do the transom and some bulkheads